Good afternoon, guys. I'm here in the park. I'm going to see if I can get a big tent again, but I've just brought the feeder rod with me today. And because there's a bit of weed on the bottom, right, in some places a lot of weed, I'm going to use a helicopter rig. I find when I fish places like the Witham, Kirkstead, and Tatchell, and that. I find that the tents seem to like it presented more on a helicopter rig and um, so I'll show you how I set it up. First of all I'll put one of these beads on like that. And then I Take a bit more line off. So I've got one of them shovels on. Oh, that one's split. That's not good. I checked that. Not much problem. So, slide one of them rubber beads up. Then I slide this. If you can see that, just a quick, quick change swivel. I can just, that's what my hook length will attach to. And then, we we'll slide another bead on. Now I've shown you that look. What I do is I always leave a little gap in between. And if you can see that, look. So that can move and it's absolutely brilliant rig for feeder fish in the helicopter rig. I think if there was only one rig I could ever use for feeder fishing it would be this one. Less prone to tangles, you really don't get tangles with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide a swivel on. That is what my feeder is going to attach to. Right, and then if I just twizzle that up. So just pull it down and drizzle it up again. There we go, look, just keep going. So, as you can see, I got twizzle boom there now, guys. And Do a overhand knot. Now, if you can see that look, now how I'll start that is with that bead on top of that loop and on that. I've got my marker sticks behind me. I like to measure up when I'm when I've feed the fish in and in case of any accidents right if you
if you get cracked up, there are snags in here. So I'm just going to put a little bomb on. And I'm just going to find a clear spot. feel too bad at all that I mean there is weed in there but there we go that's brilliant I'm just gonna take that line clip off <laughs> times I forget to take a line clip off it's unbelievable right if you can see that they've put some bubblers in if you see that bubbler out there oh. so I'm just going to fish to the left of that Let's just get your accuracy, just keep your feet together. And I'm gonna... Clear that now. Right, that's perfect. There we go, that's simple helicopter rig. Just brought a selection of feeders with me. Some at once. No, it's only shallow. So I'll probably end up using a cage feeder. I've got some worms with me, some dendras and some little tiny red worms as well. And if I show you Right, some live maggots, some dead maggots, and some casters. I've got some, as I say, I've got some worms in my bag. Got 
of the ground bait. This is just a sweet fish meal ground bait. Quite fine. It's turned cold today. So I mixed that at home and quite not over wet but on damp side because it will dry out a little bit just want to make sure in the side that that sinks okay all right don't want any bits there we go that's quite uh, not too active but it is a bit active that ground bait it's best to test it in the side if you can um, I won't put worm in straight away. Just take a few out. Hmm. What I do? There's always a little, a little pole pot with me. Got me stopwatch as well. And I will chop a few. We'll chop these really fine just to put smell in. I am um, just chop them really fine, to put smell in. because you're not fishing for a lot of fishing here but when when you do get one they're normally good just find by doing it like this I can regulate it more if you can see that look they're really fine they chop those and I just keep them like that in there start off on a little four hole feed like that and I'm not gonna and what I will do is if you see in line with that tree I'm gonna do a close line just down there as well because that's where I've had a tench on the pole this year um, so I will put a bit of bait in there later but I'm just gonna concentrate on that line up so, Well, you've seen me find where I'm going to fish with the bomb. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put that on there. Okay, and if I turn this camera around, I'll show you. That's why I use my measuring sticks. Let's just count it off, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-se
seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, so that's just over ten. What I'm going to do. Is just gonna take that line cap off. Pop it back and then just take them off. And that's as easy as that, so. So there we go, that's as easy as that. That's three meters, so I've had 10 wraps. So that's 30 meters that I'm pushing. So if there any accidents, we're obviously, I crack off my feeder or um, any accidents like that, I can just set up again and I know I'll be fishing exactly 30 meters if I measure it. All right then, guys. Right, I'll, I don't know what to do. I don't know what. That's about all I've got in here. I've got some ready rigs and I've also got some that I've tied myself, so. Right, okay, we'll start on. Okay, that's a N20, and it's on point 14 low vis. So I'll start on that. I know these on here, they're 50 centimeters, these are, so. See your hook length. All it does is just clip onto that little quick chain slivel, and then all you do is just put the all you do then is put the rubber bead down over it. Stop watch it. I'll just do a five minute cast to start with. What I'll do is I'll just start on. on three dead reds. Oh. If you can see this, I'll show you.
What I'm going to do is pull out my knee. And a few casters to start. So there's not much in there, but you see. Be interesting. Be interesting to see if we can get one on that. Feeder. As I said before, there's not a huge amount of fishing here. So if you get one, you're doing really well. But as I say, normally good fish. Uh, if you get two or three, you're doing exceptionally well. So. Right, I'll talk to you again in a bit, guys. And, um... Welcome back, everyone. I've been fishing nearly an hour. I've... Had one little... Tap, so... But it didn't develop. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing at the minute. I have put four feeder falls in, in line with that second big tree. Over there. And that'll just be an underarm cast, that will. Um, that's for later, just get a little bit of bait down and I've put some, I have put some worm in that one. I'm going to start introducing a little bit of worm in this one in a minute. Just a little pinch. Because it's gone cold again. So I don't want to... Overfeed them. I'm only putting. I don't want to. I'm only putting like half dozen red maggots or half dozen casters in each cast because I know I'm not fishing for many bites, so I don't want them to be. <laughs> dog walkers. <laughs> I think two dogs are falling out. <laughs> right, so I will start introducing a little tiny bit of worm. Next cast. Alright, I'll keep you updated. Well, 
first bite guys Yeah, I don't know. Just trying to turn it. There we go. Whoa, look at that. Whoa. What a nice fence, look at that. He's got me at least. God, he's a fatty. Well, at least that will die. Look at that. He's right, snaffled that. You can't give them much because there's so many snags in here.
That came on seven minutes, that did, on my stopwatch. So just introducing that little bit of worm obviously helped. To show you up. If you can see that, that's all the feed I'm putting in. Just that. And a little bit of chopped worm. I'm well pleased with that, I've only been fishing an hour and 45 minutes, so... There might, might be a chance of another one or two, which would be brilliant for in here. I like, I like to... I like to challenge myself. <laughs> there we go, guys. Nice fat tent slot. There we go. Lovely tent. Ne water needs to warm up a bit there, but look at the colours of that. Beautiful fish. Hey. It's getting put back. That's popping me. There we go. <laughs> What is he? Oh, he's at least... Oh. He's at least six pound, he is. Really fat. Right, let's get him put back. There we go. Here we go. Well, that's been another hard session. I knew it would be. But... If you're prepared to wait, that's how you catch the tent in here. If you're not on the pole, if you've only got a feeder rod, just set up that helicopter rig. Just use a little feeder. For the first hour, just cast every five minutes with just a few free offerings in. Because there's not that many fish in here, but when you get one, they're big. I so say I've had up to eight pound in here. Uh, I think the smallest one I've had is uh, about five pound. So anyway, wasn't prolific again. Water needs to warm up yet. It's gone really cold again. So at two or three weeks warm weather, and the tent will really start moving about then. And uh, Hopefully I can show you a really good session with them then. Anyway, anyway, um, thanks for watching guys, thanks for subscribing, really means a lot and unbelievable how many subscribers I've got now, right, thanks for joining me on this journey and uh, just message me, let me know what you want to see. And that, just give me a message. Or oh, if you want to ask me out, just message me. Okay, guys, well, look after yourself, take care, take care, and enjoy your fishing. Bye for now.